Neymar boys just posted the first teaser to a new banner coming out at the end of the month boys And we've been speculating for a while now that we are gonna be getting a festival and boys It looks like it is happening. So let's just break it down Full counter. All right, so here is the first teaser. Nothing to go off here. I think it possibly may be a free banner, or at least if anything, is confirming that, well, it is a Sin banner, not an actual Holy War. So it can only really be two characters, Escanor and Merlin. I'm, I, I, I don't know, man. I think um, I might be leaning towards Escanor, I think, because it's been a while. I still think Purple Merlin, that one should be a Dark type character, I think. So it'd be a bit weird to get a Dark type now and to get a Light type for New Year's, because I still think we're going to get Mayo for New Year's, right? So once again, I'm not too sure if they're going to do a Dark now and a Light so soon afterwards. So I think it's possible. Could be an Escanor, maybe a Red because it's clearly red here. Maybe a red Escanor does a festival that is based off his actual fight against Zeldris. And also we wear the purple outfit. Could be transforming. I doubt that thing is anything. It's just, um, oh, could it be? I think the best way to do it would to be a, you know, purple outfit Escanor. Where he's like just normal Escanor in his actual sunshine form. But then when he actually ults, he transforms. But then goes back to his normal form basically, right? So it's kind of a bit of a mix of both. So it's not really him staying in his the one form. And obviously that means you'll get new cosmetics. Because if it is the one and he is transforming, then what about the cosmetic we bought for the one? That's the thing that's kind of been confusing me a little bit here, so I'm not actually too sure if he's going to be transforming, but but yeah, I think this could be the lineup, which is actually not a great lineup, to be fair. Perfectly Barn, I mean, to be fair, I still want to get him one more time, but uh, I already have King 6-6, six, six. I already have uh, Lost Vein 6-6, six, six. Wouldn't mind getting more golfers, but don't really care too much about him. But yeah, this should be the lineup because we're now getting four festivals like filler rate and then the one new one. So it looks like if that is the banner, it's going to be Purgatory Barn, Lost Vein, Festival King, and also Golfer. Not really good banner for me because obviously Lost Vein don't really care about. King have 6-6. Six, six. Purgatory Barn, I do need one more copy, but... I'm not really worried about him. And in King, I'm, I'm not, I don't need to get him 6 6, right? So, ah, uh, but I, I don't, I'm kind of screwed, bro. I'm screwed. Because my, I, I just sold for Chandler. Massive mistake. Obviously, I had to, right? Because obviously, he's Chandler, the mascot of the channel. But uh, I am broke. And. Once again, I'm more of like an unknown main, so if they want to drop a collaboration afterwards, I, I literally, I, I, I'm I, after wait. If Honestly, I hope it is Escanor. No, bro, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I can't. Because if it's Merlin, I got a summon. If it's Escanor, I got a summon. Because it's Escanor, especially if he does incorporate the skinny Escanor some way, man. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I guess the one takeaway is that is a festival. So Deanne should return the coin shop. But then why is Deanne not on this banner? But surely Deanne should return, right? It's like, maybe this is a free banner? I don't know. I Honestly, but it's all speculation right now. But uh, yeah, basically, man, I'm not really too sure what to say about this one. But uh, let's see what the comments saying. Tony saying Merlin could be, you know... But I, I don't know. I'm going towards more of Escanor. The reds, the reds give me vibes like this, man. I don't know. Yeah, look, this guy made a good point as well. It's, o it's only males. So maybe Escanor? <laughs> Bro, the thing is, we don't have leaks, by the way. If you don't know, 76 leaks on Twitter has completely stopped leaking now. So we actually would have got leaks about who was coming, but he quit. So uh, we actually don't know now, which I guess is exciting because now when we actually do our reaction to the live stream, it's going to be an actual surprise. And we haven't had that surprise factor since Festival Merlin. And you lot saw my reaction towards her, right? So I will be going kind of crazy, especially if it's Merlin. But uh, yeah, I think I'm leaning towards more Escanor, you know? But yeah, it's 100% a sin. And the fact they've included all the males when, technically speaking, yeah, Deanne should be there because she hasn't been on the festival banner since what january or whenever she came out on so it's uh, been a while but think about more what's realistic i think merlin definitely is an option but i think the unknowns don't necessarily need a new festival because uh, you have so much right now where i think once again i guess if we get escanor if he is a red character, because the image is red, of course, right? It could be a red festival character. Then I guess he would work with the mono red team. And um, that could be kind of scary. But uh, it's possible even if he is red, he may not actually work or be more optimal on the human team. It could be definitely, could be definitely more of a DPS that could work on any single team. Or maybe even have a passive similar towards Elizabeth, where like you have to work with Sins. But yeah, lads, I'm going to go with Escanor, because this is giving me a lot of Escanor vibe with the coloring. Obviously, there are all males there. So I could be hinting towards, obviously, it being a male with Sin character, which obviously is going to be Escanor. I think, obviously, how having Merlin right now would be obviously fine, but I think with the unknown team, they don't really need a character just yet. I think we can probably wait a bit until like, you know, uh, the 2.5 anniversary for Global, and then maybe get her there, maybe even for the actual anniversary for Global even, and now like for like what, six months time, that'd be a good time as well, but uh, boys, let me know who you think it is. It's literally between Merlin and Escanor, but I'm gonna go with Escanor, because, bro, it's been like two and a half years. We're like, he's literally coming up to being, we're literally about to get the one Escanor two-year anniversary in Grand Cross, so we've got to get an Escanor 
man. It just gives me a heavy ass kind of vibe. So, uh, boys, thank you for watching me thing, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow when we get more hints towards what's coming. Honestly, I'm excited. Thank God. I mean, not thank God, but good thing the leaks have stopped because this is more exciting now and kind of curious what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.